Champions of Seeds Indeed. <laughs> and we are here, and today it's the Chosen Axes. Pete's taking on the Chosen Axes. Yeah. I'm playing the Fast Riders. Ooh. It's already late. Yeah. We need to get cracking. Um, and with, for that reason, we went for a very simple setup. Uh, I won the roll, and Pete chose that board, and I uh, just chose this board because it's my favourite, and we just put them straight, up, straight on. I possibly was a mistake, but... There we are, and then I had been to my objectives. Pete suggested that I bin them. If I wasn't sure, I should bin them, and he obviously knew what the next three were. Because yeah. these are harder to score, but Hooray. I have got rid of change of tactics, chosen champion, and the precise use of force. I think it would be, you would struggle to get the two thirds. I would there. definitely, I could score one, I definitely couldn't score another, and I might score precise, precise use of force, but it would. To, I would have to force it. It would be tough. You don't want to force it. No, but then the ones I bought subsequently, or got subsequently, are, are even harder to score. And I got rid of some cards too. I got rid of all of my power cards because I got four upgrades. I got rid of Treasure Lust. Didn't want to get rid of Treasure Lust. Uh, but then I also had to get rid of Concealed Weapon, Great Strength, the Formless Key, and a Destiny to Meet. And I didn't want to get rid of either of the last two. I didn't want to get rid of any of them. I just wanted them to come. And we should say... Wrong. Sorry. And we should say... Uh, we didn't say the last game, actually, but this is a faction-fraction game. So we've yes. got 50%... Um, fifty percent of our cards come from the faction we are playing, uh, except from the objectives, which is thirty-three. So, yeah. um, so that's important. So it's kind of interesting. I was about to say I don't tend to play concealed weapon because I prefer a solid plus one rather uh, from yeah. incredible and great strength yeah. uh, rather than a possibility of two. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I kind of figured I'd put it on someone like Mad Magrim, who's yeah. rolling three yeah, swords true, yeah. and then he has one damage. Yeah, Chance true. for crits high could be three damage there. Mm, so that's true. But uh, it doesn't matter now because it's in my it's discard gone. pile. It's, it's rushed. Um, and you may have noticed our adverts are back. They are back. YouTube is giving us a very small amount of money every now and then for when you guys watch these videos. And if you don't want to see those adverts because they are a bit annoying, then do go on to Patreon. To be fair, though, you obviously don't mind watching annoying things because you've been watching us. That is true. But if you do want the adverts, then do check us out on Patreon. For just $2 a month, you will get rid of all the adverts. Two. Just do I can't do it. I do. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> $2. And uh, for those $2, you will also get the next week's battle report immediately because they do get them a week early. So just for $2. And you'll also get 20% off our t shirt shop in perpetuity. Ping, 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 ping. Yeah, so uh, that's uh, another little incentive there if you want your very own Warband t shirt. Uh, People are buying them. So, yes. you know, go get one. They're great. Yeah, go them, show them to your friends, tell them how great they are, and uh, buy more. Buy them for your cousins, yeah. your auntie, your, your uncle, mom. everybody. Your mum loves it. Channel. Your mum. <laughs> your your mum. <laughs> so there we are. That's a bit of rambled rantings going on. And rambled we are rantings. ready to start rolling to see who sets up first. Uh, by the way, all the links are in the description below for all of those things we've just rambled on about. And so let's get to rolling some dice now. Let's do that thing I suck most at. Let's roll dice. dice. See who goes you, first. But you're normally good at these rolls. Robin gets, Ooh, ooh two, two and two. Two, two and two. I think I'll just pack up now. Oh, one and one and one. One and one and one. So I think I will allow you to set up first. Oh, that's very kind of you. Good at Mad Magrim there, actually. Mad Magrim is going there, is he? Yeah, he's going. I almost felt like he wants to go somewhere else. Right? I know. I, I can't got that feeling, but no, he's definitely okay. going. Okay, I am going to put Alamedic Eagle Eye over here. Oh. Alrighty. So next in line is obviously Vol... Oroch Bane. Ooh. Also, and he's gonna go. Yeah, Arak Bane, I see you. <laughs> we should not record these this late at night. I'm gonna put. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to bear in mind the way your men are at the moment, and put Swift Blade over here. Swifty, Swifty. Yeah, yes, that is Swift Blade. Kind of maybe put some of my guys in the wrong place here, but Tefk is gonna go there, and the fast drivery dude is gonna go here, and. Crick and fuel is going to go at the back here. Going there. She's looking, sorry, looking sorry. Do you mind if I just put? I meant to put oh no, there. it's changed the whole game. Now. <laughs> it doesn't really. Sorry, make my bad. Else. Now I'm going to put fuel there. <laughs> it's, it's kind of tempting, actually. Yeah, I can see. It's, I can see why you might want to do that. Although he was unlikely to get him inspired there. Less likely to get inspired. There, I'll grant you. Mm. But uh, let me just check my cards again. Oh, any kind sprint, of... spectral wings. I'm going to put fuel here. Oh, hello. Oh hello! Oh my word! This, this, this I had not face. seen. I had not seen this as a as a possibility. It wasn't really even a choice for me until mm. just now, <laughs> as it turns okay, out. Okay, well this is all going to be. This is all getting very exciting. Right, we'll show you our cards and then we'll roll for the first turn.
Mm. Okie dokie. So let's roll to see who gets to choose who goes first. I'll roll and I get... Oh, Ooh. two crits. <laughs> I get Ooh. two crits because I get an extra crit. Oh. And I've got a single and a double. Oh. You, what's name you? That's me. I am a what's name. Oh. But I have absolutely no idea what to do. <laughs> First activation. I think I'm going to go first. This okay. is. I, this, I, I'm throwing caution to the wind here. I could think about this for hours. This is probably horrible, and I'm going to do it though. I'm going to charge Ooh. with um, that one is uh, Eagle Eye. Oh, Merrick. So it's two hammers. He's having to go at fuel. At fuel. Oh, two hammers. Two hammers. <laughs> could be a bad start for me. How much damage is this? Just two damage. Two. So I need a crit. Oh no. So fuel takes two damage, and you're going to push him back. No, I'm going to push him back, and I'm going to play trap. Ah, three damage to take three damage. Ouch! And onto your power step. Um, I don't have anything to play. I have nothing to play. So onto my first activation. Then I am going to possibly, unsurprisingly, charge with fuel. I'm going to charge with fuel. I'm going to go one, two to there. So he rolls two hammers and does three damage. Oh! Okay, I won't be saving Mosh. that then. <laughs> In your face. Three damage. Three! Three. <sighs> I'm going to push him back to there. Interesting. And in my power step, I have nothing right now. I have nothing right now, also. Oh. Second activation. I'm going to shoot with a nice swift blade. Alright. Shoot fuel in the face, I presume. Fuel in the face, and I'm gonna oh, miss! Oh, that could be very bad news. Okay, and in the power step? No, I have nothing to do. Okay, I have nothing to do either. So, onto my second activation. I'm gonna move tech. There. That's pretty unexciting, and I'm gonna leave it at that. No, I've got nothing to do. No power cars. For my third activation, I'm gonna shoot again. The swift blade. Oh my word! The dice gods have deserted you this game. Mm. They were flicking me the bird last time, and this time it's you. So on to my third activation. I'm going to move, roll, boink, to there. Nothing in my power step. Well, I'm going to have one more go. So my fourth and final activation. Oh. Let's go set the tone. It is a sword. That is enough to kill him if I don't roll a shield or a crit. Oh! Oh my word! <clears throat> that is great for me and awful for you. Yep, never mind. And power step? Power step, I have nothing. Okay. Neither for me, so onto my fourth activation. I'm not going to do the one thing I want to do. I'm just going to move Mad Me Grim to there. And that is it. I have nothing in my power step. Okay, I have something in your power step. I'm going to play Hidden Paths. I'm going to go to there. Just in case you've got a move card. Okay. That's it. That's it. That was a pretty quick and... Rubbish. Terrible. Oh, well, terrible well, you know, these things, happen, yeah, these things happen. Normally it's me getting it, yeah. so I, I know what it feels yeah. like to be you for a change. <laughs> and I feel sorry for me. <laughs> <laughs> I also feel sorry for you right now. Okay, so uh, I went first, did I? End phase. Mm. I didn't play a single power card, mm. I've realised. So if that's good or not. Right, end phase. I've scored. Alone in the darkness! Oh, I was going to play a card that would stop that. <laughs> Curses! Yeah, uh, no more score, no more sadly. Score. No more score. Due to shyness. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Due to a raiding crappiness. So I'm going to play, uh, I'm going to play uh, Tethered Spirit on Fast Rider, who the becomes Fast inspired. Rider. And uh, so that was fast ride, not Swiss Baker. Swiss Baker's nearly dead yeah. and uh, and not inspired. So that'd be a really bad person. And Eagle Eye's also inspired. I'm also going to do a risky stick great fortitude on fast rider as well. I say risky, it's probably a good idea. Um, on fast rider as well. And that's me done. 
I forgot. I forgot that you stand in my half and you get inspired. And that's that could quite, have stopped quite, him getting inspired. That's quite a major thing. To yeah. Not, I even put him there and said, just, oh, in, case, <laughs> just yeah. in case you've got a pushing one. Yeah. <laughs> So of your remaining, uh... of my remaining cards, I think I'm going to I'm going to um, get I'm going to keep those two, and uh, I'm going to keep I'm going to keep them all. So on to me, I scored of my objectives. I scored a hold objective one. Magrim's done the job, and I also scored supremacy. Oh, well done, well done. So there we go. Mm. That was a good start. Uh, unfortunately, me. I didn't have any moving move you cards. No. And all three of those guys are now inspired. <laughs> I'm going to play activated runes on Tefk. Ooh. So we roll so Tefk is this one. He's over here. Okay. And he rolls three hammers. So Ooh. that makes him tasty. And I'm going to put Defiant Strike on Tefk as well. Which is that's the, the attacking back one. Attack back that succeeds. Can't be driven back, and he can make an attack instead. And of my power cards, I'm going to I'm going to keep all of them. I'm going to keep all three. So I'm just going to draw two objectives and two power cards. So let's show you our hands as they stand now, and then we shall roll for phase two. So it's really, really, really time for phase two. Mr. Robin, after you. Because you've got all done. Oh, one and one. Single. One and a single. Yeah. So I need two or none. So first or second, I think I know which you're going to pick. I'm going to go first. Yeah, we might. I'm going to have, I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack. It's a risk. I'm going to attack. Fuel. Okay. Third, fourth time's a job. Third yeah. time's a job. What a crit! Oh, it's a defense dice. Oh. No, I'll leave that. Can leave I have that. a crit? That's Sorry, fine. is that alright? Because it would be a crit. It doesn't matter what yeah. it is. Thank so you. So just one crit there. Oh. oh, I need a crit then, or else fuel's going to bite it. Ah, fuel is dead. Graze a fuel, bit the dust. Okay, power step. Power step, right. Uh, I am going to play Inspiration Strikes on the last swift play. Okay. He is now inspired. Which is quite ironic. He manages to kill yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Fuel and he inspi something he's yeah. inspired. Yeah. Is he not a corn person in disguise, maybe? I'm going to play Confused Priorities. I'm going to swap Ooh. around uh, number one over there because I've scored that. Mm hmm. And number two. Uh, back to you. No, I've got nothing to do at the moment. Okay. So on to my first activation. And I am going to charge. I'm going to charge with Vol. So he's going to go a one, a two, a three to there. Okay. And he rolls two hammers, three That's damage, knock back one. Oh, yeah. And he's attacking Almeric. A single, which is nothing, and a oh, Schwartz, which is nothing. So I'm going to play Oath Sworn, which is a reaction, which is play off a friendly fighter fails their attack, they mm -hmm. can make another attack. Okay. So it's a good card that I had that last one. Yeah. Like you're you're attacking Eagle, aren't you? Yeah. Almeric again. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, yes. No. Uh, yes. Oh. No. Sucks when you miss. Double eyeballs. <laughs> I'm familiar with it. <laughs> Don't you be talking to me. <laughs> I invented terrible dice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that did not go well. Power step. I'm going to play Piercing Stare. What does that do? At him. Means he cannot make an attack or charge in the next activation. Ooh. So he cannot attack or charge next activation. Okay. I just said that. Brilliant. Repeat. Repeat. <laughs> Brilliant. So there we are. So Almeric can do Nout next round. Okay. Swift Blade, about now being inspired, is going to charge. My second activation. 
Don't worry, lads, I'm coming. I've got the hang of this now. <laughs> I'm feeling much more better at this. Ooh. So he needs swords again, which has worked, which worked so well for me so far. But he has got cleave. He has got cleave, yeah. I have got an assist, oh, which I need. Yeah, that was wowzers. <laughs> so this is against poor old Vol. So one shield. No, I need a crit, don't I? need a crit. I do not get it. So that's three damage. Ow! And then the last step. I'm going to risk doing this. I'm going to play Helpful Whispers on Fast Rider. And then I'm going to play Ready, Ready for action! action! And I'm going to attack. He's going to shoot it. I'm going to shoot at Vol Ow. with the Eagle. Eagle. And I've got Oof. a crit and sword. And the crit, so the crit is two damage. He's dead. I can't stop critting the sword. Ow. Ow. Now that means I score an advancing strike. Get back. Two glory for you. Two glory. I'm going to play the Earth Shakes in your power step. I'm going to shift him to there. I'm, I'm actually going to play Ranger's Advance. And choose two friendly fighters and push them one hex. Get him this way. Mm, clever gal. <clears throat> Okay, so you've completely undone my attempt to uh, get him on his own. Fine, I have nothing else to play. Do you? Nope. Okay. So on to oh, my I need to draw a objective. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. Ooh. In my third, act well, my second activation rather, I'm going to charge with Tefk. Mm. I'm going to go one, two, three to there. O oh, for um... my turn, not my turn. <laughs> yeah, quick thinker. Quick thinker, yeah. So he's going to charge, he rolls three hammers. I've got activated runes so I can re-roll one. Okay, how much damage are you dealing? Three. So, three hammers and I can re-roll one. Oh, one hammer, one crit. And re-roll that one. Can you do another hammer? No. So you, you need crit. a crit. You need a, you need a crit, crit and a shield. Crit and a shield. Oh, oh no, wait a minute, I also have cleave, so you need two crits. Okay, well, two dodges. That two doesn't, dodges. It doesn't really help, really does it? helps clear up the situation. <laughs> So that's three damage on him. Oh, ouch. Okay, so he's not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm going to push him back to there. Okay. Okay. And in my power step, I'm going to play Indomitable. I can't remember what that does. Which is basically you can only do one damage. Oh, right. Uh, for my third activation, I'm going to shoot at Maygrim mm. with uh, Eagle Eye here. So that's three swords. Oh, one crit. crit. So I need a crit. And I get. Oh! oh pew! We will push him back to there. Yeah. And in your power step? In the power step, I have nothing to play. Neither do I. So, onto my third activation. I'm going to draw a power card. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to my fourth and final activation. I'm going to charge oh. over here. And I'm going to roll three. No, I'm not going to roll two hammers. I reckon you roll no hammers. No, I'm going to try. <laughs> I'll roll two dice and get all crit. the crits. Need so a I crit. need the critty crit crit. No. So no. How much damage is that? That would be three. Ah. And I'm going to play. No, I'm not. I'm going to... If you'd done that, I would have sworn louder. <laughs> okay, three damage on poor old mad oh, me. I'm going to push him back to there. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. And in my power step, I'm going to play Firm Footing. Ooh. Extra defense dice for friendly fighters holding objectives in the next activation. Which nice. to those counting means he rolls three next turn. Uh, if you attack him next turn. Next yes. activation. Okay. I have nothing in your power step before. I have no useful cards. Okay. Uh, so. I have no cards. Uh -huh. Just so you know. So onto my fourth and final activation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to draw a power card. Mm -hmm. And in my power step, I'm going to play that card. I've got Returning Axe. Okay. I'm going to play it on Megrim. Oh, nice. It's a range three, two sword, one damage attack. Okay. Uh, on a crit, it does two damage. So it's basically... Um, Shade Glass Dots. Shade Glass Dots, but with two dice instead of three. But do we Power Step. Power Step, I have nothing. I have nothing, so we're on to the second end phase. Okay, now we didn't... I went first, didn't I? Yeah. We didn't have enough to score escalation, did it? That's been a very low... I've, I've played one, you've played one. Uh, yeah. So I, I can't score escalation. 
if you so had it in your hand, of course. So I won't, uh, because I haven't got it. So I will, but I will scorpion head the beast, which Ooh. is kill your boss. Nice. Uh, so I get one for that. And I will also score Ploymaster. Oh, no one. I'll keep that. And of your last up, uh, your last objective. My last objective. Get on the off chances. Um, Something useful. To escalation. Do that <laughs> <laughs> and then I haven't got any cards left, so I draw five cool. power cards. Cool. So for me, I scored Alone in the Darkness for two glory, oh, I and I scored Ploymaster for another one. So that puts the score seven to seven. Now I'm going to keep my last. Up uh, my last objective because hopefully I can do something with that and I'm going to get rid of my power card which is Grimnir's Fortitude so I'm going to draw two objectives and five power cards so let's show you our hands and we shall roll for the final round Okay, so let's roll and see who gets to go first. Robin gets a mighty oh, two crits. Could be the card that could be the roll that wins it. Oh, two crits and a double. Two crits and a double. We've got to roll again. <laughs> oh, oh, just no a crits. single. Just, just a single. single. Oh, just, just a, a single. single. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant roll. Rubbish roll. Oh, oh, a single, single and two, two doubles. Oh, what have I got? What have I got? What have I got? That's oh, it's a crit. A crit. Okay, that doesn't help me. <laughs> I still don't know what I want to do. Yeah, I was thinking, I don't know whether I want to win this roll or not. I have no idea what, what, <laughs> yeah. what to do. Right, righty, righty, right, right. I'm going to go first. Okay, I, I think suspected I that might be think, what you would do. Yeah, I think I have I think to. I would have gone first as well. Yeah. And I'm going to charge with Meagrim. Okay. I think a one, two to there. Ooh, risky. Yes, it is. It is. So I roll three swords and I do two damage. Okay, I only get two things. I don't get the third one anymore. Yeah. <laughs> two swords. Two swords. That got knocked off a crit as well. Come on, crit. Oh, oh, it's a crit. Can't do anything to you there then. No. So in my power step, I'm going to play Deathly Fortitude on him. Ooh. Minus two move, plus two wounds. So he's, he's up to five. But he has charge now, hasn't he? He has charge. But then, as a result of that upgrade, I'm going to play... Ready for action! And I'm going to have another swing at you. <laughs> so here we go. Another go. Just a sword. I get two. Oh. It's a shield oh. and a crit. Stay where Ready for action never, never works for me. I never get to, to one-shot someone with two attacks. I don't like it. Right, can I play now? No. <laughs> yeah, over to you, my caster. Okay, I'm gonna play a Furious Blow on Eagle Eye. Sharp Eyes on Eagle Eye. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna put Awakened Weapon on him. That's all my glory used up. Okay. My first activation, I'm going to attack yep. with Eagle Eye. Mm. So he does. So he's going to use his charged hand axe, which is two hammers. Three damage. Three damage. But he has furious blood. So if he fails, he can re-roll it. Yep. Uh, and he has sharp eyes, which gives him cleave. And he has an awakened weapon, so he can re-roll one. That's a hammer. Yeah. And you've got awakened weapon re -roll to re this. That's two, two hammers. hammers. So we need a crit. No. So he's dead. The three Ooh. damage. Yes. Splare up. Mad Megrim est Mild. Power step. I'm not going to do anything. In my first act, uh, my second activation rather. I'm going to get rid of a card. I'm going to get rid of for the Ur Gold, which is have three fighters inspired, and I'm going to draw a new one. I'm going to play Great Concussion. Oh! I'm going to land it square in the middle here. I'm going to push him that way, him that way, 
Him that way. Him that way. Down to your second activation. I'm going to make a move action. Yeah. And your power step? Nothing. Okay. I have nothing either, so on to my third Sorry, activation. Moved. I'm going to get rid of Ferocious Charge and draw a new one. Okay, so your third activation. And in your power step? Nothing. Okay, so my fourth final, I'm just going to move onto Objective 5. My fourth and final, I'm going to move onto Objective 5. I played Great Concussion too early, didn't I, Robin? I wouldn't like to say, Pete. Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> I think I did. I thought you were going to come after me, so I was trying to shove you away. And I don't know why, because you could have still got to me. So it was a, I, was, I was a bit premature. I've heard that happens. It, it happens sometimes. It's late worry. and don't, I'm tired, yeah, yeah, so don't, don't judge. Yeah, yeah, that is true. That's fair enough. Oh, so we're on to the end phase, aren't we? Unless you have anything in the power steps. I have nothing in the power steps. So you stop me getting hoarders. Because that's me being on an objective and you not being on any. Oh, okay. If I'd have kept great concussion to the end, whether I don't know whether you could or not, but I would have put it there, shoved everyone off. And did it won it. Uh, didn't get hold objective two. I have a hold objective five. So I get one for that. One glory. So what did you have? I had lightning advance, which I didn't score. Yeah. Which I was all going for, and then you pushed me backwards, and I thought, oh. Oh, I'm not going to do that. Oh, well, if you insist on Although I did realise a little bit earlier than that that I could score Eternal Supremacy. I can get three. Oh, and you've won. Boo! Because I also have Escalation. Oh, two for that as well. Now, had I not played Supremacy, sorry, had I not played Great Concussion till the end, and assuming that you went for the objectives, you'd be down three. So you'd be on... Well, I wouldn't necessarily. I'd have got lightning advance. Well, it depends on whether you'd go I'd for gone, the... I wouldn't have gone for supremacy, I don't think. What's lightning advance? It's hard to know. Is that two? Just one. Oh, it's just one. So it's you'd be one. down two, I'd be down example. two, except this, I'm pretty sure... No, it's not. Well, actually, it's Marshall of War, so I would have scored it. I thought it was Chosen Champion. Okay. Chosen Champion. I'd have been up two, deck. so I'd have had ten, and you'd still probably be on about 15, are you on there? Or 13? 13, then. Right. <sighs> Would have been close. I don't know if you... Yeah, concussion was a... I mean, as soon as you played it, then I can. I, I, I'm not sure I, whether I'd have gone for the supremacy thing or not because. Yeah, I, yeah, I just don't know. My, I, I, yeah, I think I played Great Concussion maybe a bit, a bit prematurely, but at the same time, I don't think it made a difference to the game overall. Had you decided you were going to go for supremacy, and I kept hold of Concussion, it would have been a five-point swing. Wouldn't it? I'd have gained two, and, and you lost, lost three. three, so it would have been. Uh, 11 to, I can't do maths right now. I'd have gained two, and I'm on eight, so I'd have got to 11, 10. 10. Yes, yeah, so I still would have lost, oh, right, so yeah. I'm okay with 11, 10 again, which is what it, it was, was last time. It was, <laughs> it, well, I, couldn't, I couldn't come back from it at the end, is, is, the, is the summation there. Your what luck in the first phase was atrocious. You didn't hit, you, I didn't I hit, hit I once. Hit, I did, no, I didn't, I did hit, and you saved it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and the rest of the time, we just fluffed everything, and I thought, Yes, because you hit once because you did three damage to Yeah, fuel, straight away. And I thought, oh God, fuel's dead. And then I couldn't kill him. And I had the I had the one that gives me points for killing the. Because I thought when I when I drew the cards, I thought, I'm no way I'm going to score that one. Fuel's going to be out of the way. I'm not going to get him. Yeah. And then you put him up front. I don't know I why. Thought, I don't know if whether I should have put him up front or not. But I thought, you know, if I if I put him back here like I was going to, he might not ever see much action. You'd have struggled to get him inspired there. Well, I was going to put. Fuel on this yeah, one, yeah, I suppose, yeah, yeah. And, and one of the other lowly ones could have run interference, and fuel could have inspired. But, but even then, I don't know. I mean, he does go up to five wounds. But that was probably my mistake. I probably should have done that. But who knows? Who knows? I felt it's like putting him up front and throwing things. I mean, I was lucky. I hit with my first attack. Actually, was putting down on one. Oh, and I had trap. Yes, because you did two damage and, and then did trap, one, which yeah. gave me that extra one damage. Yeah. See, I don't have any sort of trap cards or anything in this deck. My idea. My hope was I would get to deploy the, the board because I would have played lengthways. Right, okay. And I just sat back, yeah. miles back in my half. But the problem I would have had there is I would have only had two objectives. So I couldn't have got supremacy, which I got at the very beginning. So, mm. hard to yeah, say. And I'd have come after you. And I've had, you'd have had three, three fully inspired fast riders. Yeah, and they do get tough you. to take out once they, they do, get inspired. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, don't, I didn't kill any of your guys off. No. Two of them, two of them no. are I damaged. Think. Yeah. Nearly dead. They're both nearly dead. If Maygrim's um, ready for action over here had come off, 
that would have given me two glory because I had the card to I had ferocious charge, which is kill someone with a charge and get I would have got two glory for that one. So that would have made the world a difference if that one had come off, because you wouldn't have got you wouldn't have got some new supremacy and I would have got two two glory there. I was so. like wrong somewhere because I haven't got chosen champion. I don't remember I got rid of it. I got rid of it at the beginning. I'm drawing yeah. for chosen champion and I haven't got it. Well, <laughs> I, I thought about drawing for chosen champion. I've forgotten. I'd thrown it away. That was a tricky game. That that was very cerebral. Don't like it. <laughs> well, they, I think these two are the, are the two most cerebral warbands to play. You think? Yeah. Possibly. Are you just but, saying that because they're both yours? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, they definitely have <laughs> to have a superior blue. intellect to play. Well, I, I, for, for the ones I've played, actually, maybe that's bollocks, actually. <laughs> I was just thinking, actually, I always get a headache whenever I play them. <laughs> <laughs> I get a headache when I just think about playing <laughs> yeah, the game. Yeah. I just find that, especially with the Chosen Axes, you've got that whole first turn of trying to get them um, inspired, which really does my head in. Uh, yeah. You've got to think about that. And the Fast Riders, they've got a bizarre uh, inspire mechanic as well, which is that you you want to... Um, you want to get, get into the other hard, face. Hard, but actually, you also want to keep back, because that's, you've got the range, which nobody yeah. else has. Yeah. Um, and they're quite good at... They're quite good for objective... Uh, hunting at warbands because you can shoot them off yeah um, yeah that's why I think they're good at taking on like Skaven who oh, have objectives as I well, didn't I didn't actually um, you didn't have to I didn't knock any, uh, any of your objectives off did you have lots of keys in your deck no no I only had the formless key that was the only key oh, I oh the formless is the, uh, I forgot that, that. yeah, that's yeah the, the formless one. is the only key yeah, yeah the only key the key <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. yeah it's the skeleton key yeah it's um, and I took that and I took um a destiny to me but yeah, I, had to I haven't both. managed to get either of those cards in a faction fraction deck yet. no you played it with the um, when you played fire slayers against my sepulchral guard yeah, in well, our best that before, three that was before we faction fraction doesn't it it was yeah, yeah which yeah. obviously if you're not a patron you can sign up on patron you can see that best of three game and any other best of three games we've played as well yeah. Um, but yeah, yes, of course. If you do one. sign up with Patreon, you get all the archived you best do. of three. Everything. Say, it, comes, it comes better, almost like better value as you go. Yeah. Like. So if you keep, if you don't do it for like a year, then <laughs> it'll be brilliant value for you. <laughs> However, we'd rather you did it now yeah, if, yeah, if it's yeah. all possible. Mm. But I hope you guys enjoyed that game. There was probably a lot of things I could have done differently there. I'm not used to the Fire Slayers, although I do enjoy playing them, um, and they do hit like a truck once they're inspired. But I. It didn't help that Fuel was dead early on, and I think Vol died very early in the second round, so I didn't quite have the firepower there. Magrim was, he fluffed his attacks, and if he'd have made his attacks, that would have made a lot of difference to the game. Magrim. Would have been interesting if you'd, if you'd hit. Would have been much toiter, because mm. I was hoping I could I could one-shot him with the Ready for Action card, uh, and, no, you missed both, and I missed you? both attacks. I think because it's swords, you're unlikely to... To, you're likely to miss with one. Three swords is unreliable. It's even worse because you've got two sh- two blocks, yeah, so, so you, you are much us, yeah. much harder. But I didn't even manage to push you back. So no, it's quite a nice fast riders deck that one. Actually, I'm quite pleased with it. Mm. And we've been asked for one of our next Patreon things, which is a another thing. If you if you um, pledge at the ten dollar level, yep. then you can actually choose a whole game. We have been asked to play a, a proper tournament worthy fast riders deck so actually I'm not sure that's far off it I don't know if mine would be tournament worthy but uh, <laughs> but it'll be generic enough that I could take to a tournament it's, it's, it's the only thing I can yeah, say I, I don't it. think it's, it's a win it just had to one you could enter in maybe I'll look up the uh, I'll look up the the because it's Reavers against uh, Fast okay. Riders and maybe I'll look up the Reavers uh, there's a good Reavers deck on there actually I was looking it up yeah might have some, maybe I'll try that one who mm. knows or maybe I'll just pick Reavers a versus Fast Riders that's going to be tough I'm sure we haven't played that game either. I don't think we have, no. So don't that's going to be an interesting one. Yeah. Very interesting. So do let us know what you thought of the battle report and do let us know if we missed anything obvious. Um, bear in mind that we do record these several weeks in advance. If there's anything covered in an FAQ in the last two or three weeks, we probably haven't seen it when we recorded that's this. That's true. They're probably unlikely to be one, though, and they just been one, isn't there? So yes, it has. Probably so safe there. Are slim. Uh, by the time this goes out, of course, there could be a whole new, new Shay Spyro announcement. Oh, you never know. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, but until next time people it's getting late we want to go to bed our own beds not the same bed we're not more than wise and uh, we shall see you soon I just don't know where to go with that more than wise (laughs) anyway (laughs) bye